previous video we have learned about the primitive data type so this is five types of primitive data type this is very small so that's why we have completed that one video so today we am going to review this using that then practical and everything that is reference data type so this is around to three types there is object arrays and the function so this is all of this data type of this three little bit of bigger so i can complete this in this three data type in one video if we complete that then it will be not easy to understanding about this all of these data types so i will make these three parts about the reference data type videos so here on first of all today we are going to make in this arrays and then object and then will be the function so this is the arrays element so arrays we have the basically an array is a data structure that contains a list of the element which is stored multiple values in a single variable and the for example let's consider a sensor you where you have one going to shopping something buy of art something in the supplies and the list of the items of the bot can be put in into a one array there you can see that you can see that images that the zero is but this in arrays element this one shopping variant so this is counting from the zero started from the count so first element it will be zero and the second element it will be for the one and third element will be two fourth element will be three and this is the fifth element will be the fourth so this is actually the product if we are using the product shopping there you can see some coding demo there is the shopping the paint brush spray paint watercolor and the canvas so there's the paint brush it will be a zero of this the array element of this zero numbers and there is counting the second one this is spray paint it will be the one and the watercolor it will be the two and the canvas it will be three so this is basically the arrays element the basic understanding so i will do the practical about it and it will be explained much more information there so let's start this video right now For doing practical of this array element, I have opened my index.html file and here I need to create a JavaScript file. So here you can see I have a JS folder and there I need to create a file that is here I'm just going to creating that file name is arrays. Okay. Arrays.js and save this file. So arrays.js I have created this file. After creating that file, now I just closing that left window and just go to index.html file so here i need to connect that file so here the file name is rs so rs.js as you can see that you have to see that there is spelling if you mistake any one this spelling the code will not be run so we have saved it and save this file and open this index.html file with the browser so it is open already now just go to back your coding studio and just click on to this rs.js file so this is our jQuery the JavaScript file that is so we're going to first of all for the array using so we're going to taking the lead variable keyword and then we're going to making for this the variable name so it is shopping and then we're going to storing that value for this we're going to storing for this array is basically the multiple value can be storing one one array variable one variable and it can be stored multiple of this element here so it can be using by this the square bracket so here I'm just going to take a square bracket and then in the terminate this line of this using the semicolon then just press enter now we have to write that element of this shopping variable so let's copy the shopping variable and write it here and then you just need to take it here and then another the square brackets and inside of the square bracket you have to write in that the product so here I'm just going to write in first of all that one is the paint brush so it is paint brush and then we can add a multiple value using the separate of comma and then again the quotation mark and there i'm just going to making the color coa lower color and another one that is i'm going to using that for the canvas and it is canvas and here i'm just going to add another one that is paper okay that's it we have added this value one here now terminate this line and then we're going to check in for this that it will be work or not so here we're going to make in the console the console dot log and take the parenthesis then inside of this you have to write in that the variable name so the variable name is shopping now write it here the log and then terminate this and save this file now just back to the browser and open with that inspection mode and it will be so here the console mode 
there you can see the arrays there it was showing that the arrays four type of element is available there there you can see zero is the pen brush and the one is color and another one that is two is canvas and the three is paper but the color i have is spelling mistakes but this doesn't matter this is actually the product so i'm just making the spelling correct and save it so this is basically you can see that how actually the arrays element is work so this is basically 0 1 2 3 and this is total of this four length there you can see the length is four there's total of this four type of array element is displaying here using this actually one variable this shopping so we have just display that now just back to coding studio here now we're going to take another example for it so let's take example and then here i'm just going to take the let numbers so it is numbers and take a square bracket and then terminate this now we need to add the value for these numbers so it is numbers and then oh, you have to take the, the square bracket so this is basically number so you don't need any quotation about there so you can just one two three and then you separate them all is one there using that comma over here and it is four five so this is we have taken number and terminate this now we're going to using that a class you some you're going to make some calculation of arithmetic so here i'm just going to take it a console and console dot log to taking that log and take a parenthesis then you have to enter that the variable name so it is numbers and just take it inside of here after taking this number now we're going to doing that item one there plus and one so this is zero for the arrays element as you can see this is zero first one is zero and the second one is one so for this we are going to take in zero and the one so we are going to take in this but we have this value for the number but we are going to play making that arithmetic the calculation using that arrays element which is zero and one so let's take here a square bracket and enter here the zero and then take a space and plus and then we're going to take in that numbers again so you have to write the numbers and there's we're going to taking that and the one that is element one and we have made it now you have to end of this terminate this line here now just save this file and go to browser and there you can see this is three it was showing there you can see there is collection it was showing here is three so what it was showing three this is zero element for the zero is one and for this one element it is two so one plus two it is actually three so you can see the result it is showing there the result is three so now we're going to make some other thing that is for the short so let's back to here the console and take in the one this console dot log and then we're going to take in the, the parenthesis and the variable name so it is numbers and after taking that number so we're going to making that for the short element number dot short s o r t short and then we're going to taking a function over here so this is basically function you have to take it and then terminate this line and save this file and back to the browser as you can see it is short here you can see this it was a column basis the short line is 0 1 0 is basically 1 and 1 is basically 2 and for the two lines of it is 3 and the three third it is 4 and the 4 it is Five. There you can see the length of this character of this five there. So if you want to add some another element, there is five. We want to add some another element of another arrays element. So we are going to making for the length of the six character. Now it's back to here, and this is a very easy way to using that console dot push. So I'm using that console. Okay, so, sorry, console not. It is actually the variable dot push. The variable is the number. Now let's copy it and let's do that then we are going to make it push after this push and you have to add elements so then parenthesis take it and this which element you are going to add we are going to add the sixth element then terminate it now save this and back to here now just you have to reload it and the console is already over there so now you can see this on the five array element the five number section and that element is six we have added and the length you can see that it was the six type of length there so we have successfully added there is a short element over there so now we're going to taking that the numbers of the variable about we're going to check that all of the numbers so let's take it and the console then dot log and here we're going to take in the variable name 
so it is numbers and then terminate this line also over there now save it now just back to the browser and there we can see this all of this total array element we have printed so this is basically two way to short print about yours so this is this two way there's one is push method and another one is check the variable the variable methods you can add it so this is two way so you can make it the short a line okay now just back to here and this is let's take some another example here okay so here i'm just going to take a let mix type of uh, example about this area here so let mix the variable over there and the square bracket and terminate it then we're going to take me for the variable name so this is mix and then equal to then take a square bracket and here we're going to add some something like a string and a variable number like this so let's take one first of all i'm going to take the one and then separate it then take another one then i'm going to take that another string that is two and take a comma and get not there actually this inverted after out of this the quotation and then take a valid two so now terminate this line and now console with the console dot log and then the entire this variable it is makes and terminate it now save it and back to the browser and reload it now you can see this is their element is array element is showing 0 is equal to 1 the 1 is equal to 1 and this 2 is equal to that element is 2 and the 3 for this 2 element it is 3 so this is four character type of four character of the four length character of the array element so this is basically how you can do the practical about the array element you can use it so this i have shown you that the three type of example about there how you can do the practice of element so if you're having any issue to do that and if you're getting any issue to the, to the practical about it so you can give me on the comment section below and i will be definitely try to give you the answer that about the question about what you are getting the problem exactly so if you're interested to join our channel and you can join there so if you want to get more videos just like this you can subscribe our channel and press, press the bell icon so that you will never miss any tutorial updated from us thank you so much for this video